Hello everyone, today I've come to do a review of two Zabroya Hortizia 177 uh, air rifles only instead of taking them to my daughters and uh, doing the normal scenario we decided, me and John, John here, say hello John Hello John That's it John's here, he owns both these guns among several others and we're on this bit of uh, secret land uh, not far from his house and there is a target that I'll show you. In fact, there's several targets that I'll show you in a moment. Uh, how far away, John? 17 metres. Right, 17 metres. There is a, a tape measure over there, so it, it definitely is 17 metres. So I'll bring the, the camera over so we can have a closer look at these two guns, and John will explain what the differences are. Right. I'll have a close look at the guns. The uh, lighting's not very good today because I came uh, later than I said I would. But these are the two guns, the Mark 1 and the Mark 2. They look very similar. There's the manometers, they've both got the same air pressure in. And while I'm talking, I will put on screen, John did some pellet testing earlier uh, to find which gun likes which pellet, etc. He's um, on his stock here, he's put this on for his bullets. What does that actually do, John? Right, Is it uh, for comfort or? It's, yeah, it's because I've got a problem with neck. And, right, he's yeah. got a neck problem. Uh, got his little magazine holder now I got this wrong in the last video with your Kozak I believe the 10 shot magazines ten shots, yeah. and I actually said there were 12 shots similar to the Virox style magazine and if you get the, the one with the sharp the sharpish corners on there that's nearest to you when you load it and they load quite easily these guns and these fit all three of your guns don't they they fit they the do, Kozak yeah. and these oh, the Zabroyas and the Zabroyas so if we have a closer look at the two guns to see what the main differences are. Explain what these stocks are, John. These stocks, are, they're, they're known as a, a black orticia. So, uh, is it black ash? or? It, it, I have a feeling that it is black ash, but right. that's only my... And there's a the date on that one. Made in Ukraine, the 3rd, 21st, 5th, 19th. So that gun's clearly older, that's the Mark 1, I take yeah. it. Right, the bolts are different between the two guns, so if you can explain that and point with your finger, I'll, uh, right, I'll come the, round the other side. On the Mark 1, you've got a lever on the other side here, which you have to thumb. And go. Which you have to thumb yeah. before you pull. So if you don't thumb this lever, it won't you, can't, you can't cock the gun. No. So the later gun... is it, They've done away with thumbing... This so there's no over. thumb lever at this side, but, but you've got to, that is that's on, a on like spring. a spring loaded. I can see a little clip there when you did that. Then. Yeah. So this here, it's when you pull that, pulls that little clip in and allows you to pull the bolt out. Yes. Right. What what are the other differences between right. the two guns? The internal differences on on these are the regulator. The the Mark One has got the Mark One regulator in. And the Mark II has got an uh, updated regulator. Okay, and while we're talking, I'll put on screen the lengths of them and the weights of the guns. I haven't got a clue off the top of my head. Do you know what the weight is? No? No. No, no we I, will. I, I, I will put it on screen. We, we'll do that. He's a, vi he's a video virgin, is John. He's never been in one, one video before of, on my channel, although I've borrowed several guns off him. So what we're going to do... Down there is a range of load of targets, 17 metres, did 17, we say? 17 metres to 17 metres to the targets. And he's going to shoot the one on the right, since you're right on the bench. And I will shoot the one on the left hand side there in the middle. And there's no wind, so we've got no excuse. However, up for grabs on this video will be a trophy, and I forgot to bring it with me. It's 22 carat gold plastic. And... Uh, Whoever does the best shooting there between the two guns uh, gets the gold trophy. However, I must stress this now, this is not an excuse. I worked out last night, John's a little bit older than me, isn't he, John? Just a touch. When he started shooting and his, his trigger finger got in action, that's the year I got born. So he's got, he's got 12 years on me in shooting experience, so really, he's, uh, he's SAS material. <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's get shooting these guns. Have we, have we mentioned everything about the guns? About the profile? Are they both right hand stocks? Yeah, both right, right hands. Right, both right hand, hand stocks. They've got the curve there, the curve profile. They've got a nice Zabroya. Um, 
stamped in it's very dark here but they've got the Zabroya logo stamped in the rubber so it's like an old soft it's not soft soft but it's not hard is it and the triggers and the trigger guards are they metal or plastic or I believe they're metal but and I, I presume they're I believe adjustable they're alloy. they've both got the little brass ring do we know what size the cylinders are one, the Mark II's a larger cylinder than the Mark I. Right, and how many shots do you get from them uh, in comparison? They look very similar from where I'm... Well, actually, yeah. this one looks longer, the cylinder does. It is longer. Yeah. But, so you get um, more shots out of the Mark II. I, I, I reckon they're good for 160. 160. Before is that, they, before it starts is that from 300 bar? Yeah. Because they go up to 300 bar, yeah, don't they? Yeah, but I only filter to 250, I do. Yeah. Okay, so. we'll we'll uh, we'll get the camera in position, and uh, obviously we're expecting John to do really good since he's got 12 years on me in shooting experience, and it's just starting to get dark now. Well, not dark, dark, but so I'll, I'll shut up and we'll get the blast in. How many shots is there? Ten. I said ten, ten. didn't I? So ten. I'll be taking ten shots each of those targets. Just loaded, aren't we? Well, we're all loaded. The mags are in. And there's a gold, 22 karat gold plastic trophy up for grabs for this shooting. So you're going to have to try your best, John. You're on yeah. the right target, I'm on the left, all the cameras are in action, we're rolling. Right. Right, and my safety's on, so took the safety off. Mine's off. This is, remember, this is for a 22 karat plastic trophy. I'll put a picture of it in, on the corner of the screen because that's what that's what's up for grabs. Ready when you are, John. There you go. Then. Ooh, bullseye. Didn't want to go in there. The, the second shot, very easy. I've got the first shot. <laughs> second shot. Just above the bullseye. No, no, just above. You're rocking the table, that's it. Yeah. There's a bit of rocking going there. Yeah, it's that's what's happening between the two of us, isn't it? Rockabilly. I take it this gun's more accurate than the one you're using then, is it John? It is, yes. I think it should have been solid to the belly of its gun. I think I'm wasting pellets now, they're just going into the same hole. That's it, mine's empty. 
Minus. Now, for what I'm seeing from here, you've won. It don't look like you're getting a 22 karat gold trophy. No. We're going to have to have another competition in the future for that one, mate. Yeah. So I'll bring, I'll bring back the target, and uh, we'll let we'll let the viewers decide, okay? Because it'd be unfair for me to say I won that, and it'd be unfair for you to say you won it. Oh, I know so, I have. You got any money on you? Me? Uh. Are you rich enough to have any money after buying all these guns? Because I haven't got any change on me, but I wanted to do the two P one, you see. You want to do the two P one? Yeah. Right then, John, here's the coins. I'll let uh, the people decide, but there's a 10p over mine, and it's covered. Hang on. Well, that's covered that. That's 10 shots, isn't it? It is 10. It is 10, yeah. All right, and on yours, sadly, very sadly, you've pulled one. But, of course, that was my fault because I was loading my gun, wasn't I? However, John does say, and he is quite right, 15p covers it. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so 15p does the job for him, but only 10 pence for me. So it was that one pulled shot cost you a 22 karat gold plastic yeah. trophy. That there is still my trophy till the next yeah. uh, the next Story competition. Story of my life. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and later or before this video will be the uh, who the winners are for the two red dot scopes.